Hey, here we are again. Hi, you hey, guys. Leslie. How are you? <laughs> good? <laughs> yep, everybody's good on my end. How about yourself? Yep. Very good on my end. Yes, and I was um, telling Adele a little bit earlier that the weather here is finally starting to cool down. So instead of the usual 114, we're at the low hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here in Montreal, it was a chilly 48 this morning. Oh, so. man, I can't even, it'll never even get that cold here. So, yeah. in Phoenix. Yep. Yeah. So, anyway. Well, it's it's great to be here again. Uh, we have so many wonderful things to share with everyone before the summit gets here. And we have been working really hard getting everything fine-tuned and everything downloaded onto the platform. And it, it's... It is going to be so cool. We have like so many wonderful things. And speaking of wonderful things, today we have Paula McGee with us, one of our teachers. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about her. She is a um, figurative artist and she lives in Arkansas. And she has been, we, we were talking with her um, about how long she's been making dolls. And so it's about 30 years and we're all like, well, I've been making dolls 30 years too. Like, how did where did all that time go? It's crazy. <laughs> so she loves to design, to sew and create fairies and other fantasy soft sculpture and now clay works um, in her artwork. Um, she lives in a little old cottage, um, which is a hundred years old. And of course, there is always something to do so it keeps her creativity on high and her gardens are full of all these wonderful friends of frogs and butterflies and white-tailed deer rabbits and even a groundhog living on the edge of the forest it's a magical place for her to create things um, she is a self-taught artist which is really cool and she's always learning more about doll making so that she can bring those beautiful ideas and techniques into her online teaching that she will be doing with us and she also has a line of sewing patterns so let's bring her on i think so hey paula hi paula hi, Yay! Hi. We're so happy you're here. Yes, this, this is wonderful. We're excited to have you as our guest today. Yay! Well, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be included with everyone in this really fun summit. Yes, we're, yes. <laughs> we're so looking forward to it. And we've had um, great response with the registration. So we want to just keep yeah. filling those classes for our beautiful teachers. So it's, it's really fun. So Paula, we wanted to ask you a few questions so that everybody can get to know you a little bit more. And oh. so can you tell us, um, how did you start making your art? Oh my gosh. How did I start? Um, I think it's just always been part of me. I just have always created things and I just, um, actually I started crafting just about everything and then it all culminated into dolls mm -hmm. about three years ago. Cause you can, you can paint, you can quilt, you can sew, you can, what else? There's everything beadwork. Yeah. Yes. I think that's one of the beautiful things about doll making is you can bring so many outside influences and things that you love into your pieces. You know, yeah. I think that makes it so I much fun. I love to do everything. <laughs> yes. Yes, I know. Yeah. So, uh, Paula, what inspires you uh, to make your art? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I can step my toe and create a goblin out of that. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. get out of bed, or you know, just anything. Yes, yeah. I find that um, you know, our artists are such um, like absorbers of everything. You know, I yeah. feel like our field of vision is like so wide and it's like you know you'll even catch something out of the corner of your eye and you're like oh that could be you know that could be a fairy or that could be something I mean just out of your corner of your eye it's like it's yeah. so cool and um 
Is there a specific element of your art that you enjoy working with the most? I'd have to say fabric. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do, I, I think you can do anything with fabric. Mm -hmm. it, it begins as a just a flat blank piece of nothing really. And then you create a curvy figure out of it. I mm -hmm. think it's wonderful. It's fun to try different things with it too. So yeah. and, and I'm sure you get a lot of inspiration once you start looking at all your fabric as well. Yeah, I do. The colors. Yeah. And the pattern sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And is there a specific um, uh, fabric that you like working with? Um, natural fabrics, mm -hmm. silk and cotton, things that linen. Linen's my favorite now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've been I've been collecting linen fabrics, so. Yeah. Do you do any kind of dyeing on your fabric or is it just uh, the fabric itself? I, do you do anything special with it? I do dye it sometimes. I like to use inks mm -hmm. um, and just spritz it and spray it and make a mess. So, yeah. <laughs> experimenting. You're experimenting. Yeah. I think that's always the, um I think that's one of the coolest things about um, being an artist is um, realizing that you have no boundaries and that you can, yeah. you know, you can find something like just the fit, like you were saying, like the linen, you can find that fabric and then it's like, well, this isn't the right color. Well, I can do, I can change that, you know, change the color, yeah. yes, yes. I think it's yes. great. That is great. So Paula, why do you make art? What drives you to make your art? What drives me to make my art? Oh gosh, I think it's it's instinctive, just like breathing. I just do it. Mm -hmm. That's my simple okay. answer. <laughs> I love it. It's great, but it's, it's really true. It's, you know, I um, talk about like it. It just kind of like it's always up there in the ether, and it just kind of comes through me, and then it just it just like I'm the person that yeah. it at that moment always here <laughs> yes yes and then and there's so many times that I finish a product or, or a piece and I look at it and I'm like how did that happen like where did that even come from how did that even happen you know I think yeah. that's the fun thing about being an artist and um what connection do you have with your art the connection um I don't know. Just, I love it. It's, um, a lot of times it's memories that I put into the dolls, not by on purpose or, or anything like that. It just happens. Mm -hmm. And then I see the piece years later and remember what was going on at that time, you know, when I made it, created it. And sometimes it has a piece like a button, an old antique button from my grandmother mm. piece. And it helps me remember a lot of things. So, yeah. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> that is interesting. <clears throat> I think we all use uh, little special touches in our pieces as we're working through them. Something that we give a part of ourselves in it. Mm -hmm. And like you were saying, Paula, you know, it's like whatever you're experiencing in your life at that moment, um, you put into your work, you know, it's mm -hmm. like art is life, you know, it is. Yeah. yeah. So Paula, what does art mean to you? I'm going to use that word again. Everything. It means everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's all inclusive, huh? Yep. It's all inclusive. Um, yeah. And I that love uh, teaching teaching the art. Um, I don't know um, if I wanted to teach first or if the art came first, but I love sharing it. So, mm -hmm. and you, and you do a really good job of that. I think you also have a patron page too, that yeah. you um, <clears throat> help a lot of artists and you're so prolific with your, also with your patterns. And I think that is really wonderful that you're able to touch in different areas and sh share your information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we, 
I connect to a lot of people through the teaching as well. So it's just a lot of fun. <laughs> and so <laughs> you, you have your pieces with you, don't you? Um, that you can show us and tell us a little bit about them. Here's Jack. He's a pretty big guy. And I don't know. He's inspired by... Um, I was on Pinterest one day and the carnival in Versailles, the costumes that they mm. create wear at that carnival are just amazing. And he's inspired by one of the vintage costumes there. Mm. And he's got really neat little shoes. He's wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, and his head is um, sculpted paper clay. How tall is he? He looks like, what, 16 inches, 18 inches? I can't tell. He's about 26 inches. Oh, 26. <laughs> okay. Pretty big. Let me back up. Okay, there. We see him now. Yeah. yeah. He's a big guy. He's wonderful. He's wonderful. I love Perfect it. Perfect for the Halloween season. Yeah. I think so, too. Yeah. And here's Jilly. I have two Jillies, actually. She has a oh, sister. Great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. So she much has, fun. She has yeah. a bad twin, and she's the good girl. Yes. Oh. <laughs> you can see their faces. Oh, they're so great. They're yeah. so wonderful. I love that. Let me see their feet. Put one down. I think they're they're so cute. Their feet are just cloth. Okay. And it's so hard to show this because I'm going back. There. Oh, there you go. So yeah, wonderful. Yeah. I didn't break yeah. her leg, I promise. <laughs> she looks great. Got the fancy shoes. Yeah. And her body They're going to love really making wonderful. her. And Jack. Yeah. yeah. She's got the curves. Yeah. That's her back. Yep. Wonderful. <laughs> and she's all cloth, right? She's all cloth. She's got the nose. And it's yeah. just applied on. It's an applique, stuffed applique. And there's a, mm -hmm. quilt, a quilt term, trapunto. <laughs> oh, yes. There's her hat. I love hat making, but I don't wear hats. So yeah. that's why I make dolls. Yes. I create them to wear hats. <laughs> yeah. I, think well, I love her hat. I think that's why a lot of us are um, doll artists because then we can put all our imagination into yeah. our pieces, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, those, those are wonderful. And I think uh, showing them that way, I think they have a better idea of the size and also um, <clears throat> all the detail work that are, that is into those pieces. Right. Yeah. It helps. Yeah, it does help show how big they are. Jack's really big, but with the way that he's created, yes. you can change his armature to pretty much be shorter or taller a few inches. So, yeah, okay. it's it so much fun. I can't wait to see what everybody creates. Um, I know. That's the fun part. I isn't love it? Yeah. I think the cool thing about... Um, being uh, like a designer is that you have it like envisioned in your head, what you think it's going to be. And then the students come out with stuff like, wow, I would never even think of putting that stuff together, you know, or that, or even working in that color. And I love, I love to see what, how everybody um, expresses themselves like within your design, you know, I think that is so cool. Oh, yeah. And um, and like you were talking about with teaching um, is really being able to have that chance to connect with your students, you know, and that um, I think is such a beautiful part of teaching. Um, yeah, so, and um, so we, we are so happy that you're here um, with us, Paula. It's going to be so much fun. Um, is there anything you'd like to add in? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm just so happy to get this opportunity um, to meet new people. And a lot of my old friends are coming into class. So that's great. Oh, that that is great. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's gonna be well, fun. well, that was our whole purpose of doing this uh, 
summit is that we we want everybody to connect and that's how we wound up coming up with the name art connection summit and we're seeing uh people that have not been creating anything for a while and are coming back into it and that other connection which is great it's the creativity part of it and um so it's just nice to have you here paul and we appreciate all the work you've done putting the classes together and um it won't be long <laughs> it won't be long before it happens I know we're so it's, it's it's really exciting. Yep. So we'll we'll keep posting things so that everybody is aware of what's going on, and um, it's gonna be it's gonna be so much fun. It, the whole thing's gonna be great. Yeah. So I wanted to mention that if anybody has any comments or questions for Paula, please post them. Uh, we seem to have a big delay uh, of the comments coming in, but uh, Paula will see them. We will see them. If you have up, oh, there's some that just came in. Lana. Thanks, <laughs> just Lana. Came in. Uh, she said, that's great. Here, I'll post this for you so you can see it. <clears throat> Yay. Hi, Lana. <laughs> Hey, so as I was saying, if you have any questions, feel free to post them. Um, we'll get back to you. And it's great that you have stopped by to see us. It's nice to know that somebody's watching us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yay for us, yeah. Yay. Yay. So, um, so it starts um, October 8th and it goes through the 12th. And then we will have, every day we'll have, um, different things that we'll bring up. So we'll we'll post a schedule for you guys so you can see what's happening. And um, Paula has her two great classes. So you can sign up for more than one class. You don't have to sign up just for one because we will extend the download period um, well after the summit. So if you see um, several classes that you want to take, feel free to jump in. So... I know I want to take some class. I know. That's what I'm like. I want to take some class. We're like so busy behind the scenes that we're like, yeah. I'm like, okay, we, we want to. There's a bunch. Yeah. 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 I just saw um, Patty Kalia had just jumped in and took one of the classes and she's all excited. So it's nice that we're all, you know, looking at classes too. So that's, uh, well, Leslie and I will not be able to do class for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. It's good. So, Paula, thank you so much for coming in today and showing us um, a little peep in your studio and showing us your great work. We appreciate you taking the time out from your creative time to spend time with us today. Well, thanks for having me here. Oh, yeah. It was great, Paula. It already is a lot of fun. I'm having Isn't fun already. It? Yeah. Good. Yes. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Thanks. Guys. Well, thank you again. And and we wish you a great day and we'll be staying in touch with you. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Thank See you. you. Bye, Paula. Bye. 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 <laughs> well, that was fun. I know. Isn't it great? I just, you know, each teacher brings such um, a spirit of themselves into their, not only their work, but into their teaching and, um, I have um, seen some of um, Paula's teachings and they are really incredible. So she is able to really express herself in her teaching and in her dolls. So I know everybody will really enjoy her classes. So Oh, I think so too. I think so too. I, and it's just amazing how well, how hard everyone is working and how they are all pitching in get the word out and that you know it's just it's just become fun that's yes. why we're doing it right <laughs> we also have to give teachers a really big kudos um, because you know so many of them don't go online and you know we work so um, by ourselves so much that we become a little um, introverted so even for them to step out of their um, comfort zone and come in and do interviews with us is like, I think it's so great. So it just shows their willingness to um, 
to reach out to you guys and to, you know, like we were saying, to make a connection so that um, we can gr- create a really wonderful community with everybody. I love that. Yes, yes, I do too. And uh, tomorrow, being September 13th, we have uh, another teacher coming in, Maria Saracino, and she'll be talking about her classes, and she's a polymer clay artist. So uh, she is just beyond over the moon excited to do this interview. So, and it makes us very excited about it too. So we're looking forward to seeing what she. Yes, I agree. Yes. So So, uh, if you have any questions, please post them. Yes, you guys. And we will always peep back and look back at them again. So feel free to ask any questions. And um, remember, we're here for you. And we are so excited to bring this to you and give you guys a taste of um, a really what we're considering really unique things. So and it is the I think the really wonderful thing is, is it's for everybody. So we have classes for artists that want to take it. But then we also have the speakers and the excursions and the presentations, which is for everybody under the worldwide tour. So you guys, there's something for everybody here, which is really fun. Yes, and, and we also have some surprises along the way. Absolutely. We we have to we can't go out without having some surprises. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking forward to sharing those and start announcing those. And those will probably start being announced uh, a couple of days, 10 days maybe before the conference. So you would see what we've been up to behind the yes. scenes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes. So everybody have a great day and we look forward to your comments and questions. And um, remember coming into the artconnection.gallery uh, to take a look at all of our videos and what we have to offer and sign up. You have to register. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thanks you guys. We appreciate you coming. See you Talk later. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye.